A representative elect has passed away from COVID. This is Luke Letlow, a Republican who was elected to the House of Representatives this month to represent Louisiana's 5th Congressional District, died just last evening of complications from COVID-19. He was 41, just 41 years old. He did not have any underlying conditions that would have increased his chance of dying from COVID-19. Um, and yet he passed because, as we have said for a very long time, it is not just older people and it's not just people with pre-existing conditions. If you are in your 40s, if you're in your 30s, if you're in your 20s, you might have a lower chance of dying. But many people in those groups have died. And now for the first time, according to Ballotpedia, at least the first elected federal official to die from coronavirus um, has passed just last night. Um, well, it's it's one of those things where we keep hearing about all these elected officials that flouted the rules or disregarded them and told everyone else to do the same, get sick, and then it's become such a norm that they get over it, that now the shocker is not that they're getting COVID, the shocker is that they pass away of it. So um, I don't know if this continues down the same route. But only, by the way, and the reason why a lot of people were thinking this, even when Trump got it, was like, well, maybe they'll start taking it seriously now. But that's we've yet to see that happen. And then after Herman Cain died and they used him and his Twitter and his existence to continue to push their political agendas, um, I was thinking, man, you know, Herman Cain was an elected official. Um, uh, he's a black guy. Um, mm -hmm. So they probably don't care that much. And if they just disregard it, move along, most of the party will move along with them because they never cared about him in the first place. But this is an elected official, just got in. Everyone uh, in their side of the party liked him. He was this young guy going to take over for his former boss. Yeah. And this happens. So where's the acknowledgement of what you've been doing wrong? This is, I always said, things start hitting closer to home. People start acknowledging it more and more. I still haven't seen it. Kevin McCarthy tweeted about it and said thoughts and prayers. And then, and then and told everyone that he, um, uh, uh, that he passed away and we feel sad about it. What did he pass away of, Kevin? Yeah. Just 41-year-old guy. He's, he, he went to sleep one night. And didn't wake up. That's not what happened. Mm -hmm. So they're still using this as as a political, uh, a, still approaching this in a political manner to make sure that there's no accountability, that there's no uh, uh, no one remembers what they did and said about this, and that the results of this aren't based off of what they've done wrong. And then if anybody else says any different, like, hey, this guy flouted the rules, told everyone else to stop, and he caught it and died, we're the mean ones. It's just it's it's. It's two plus two is four. But if someone says, hey, you just added those two numbers together and you came up with four, you're the mean guy, not the one who said two plus two is three. That's not mm -hmm. the guy. Well, and, I don't but, know how many more times we'll see it. But more, more. I mean, there's, you know, just yesterday on the show, we talked about some county Republican official who is in, he's been hospitalized for it, is, is alive and is telling people to take it seriously. He says he wishes he had listened to his own family and hadn't gone to a White House Hanukkah party. So for some people, it hitting very close to home can cause them to start to advocate for what we've been saying the entire time. Um, Kevin McCarthy's not really acknowledging the actual issue. But then you go to like like Trump, Republican president. They just lost a Republican congressman elect. As far as I've seen, at least as of recording this, he hasn't even acknowledged that it happened. At least a lot of people are. And lots of people are saying, you know, he's just at the beginning of his career, has a lovely family. Everybody's saying he's awesome, which is obviously totally true. We don't want anyone to get hurt. Um, they're at least acknowledging it. Like with, with Herman Cain, they barely even talked about it. He had been a presidential <laughs> candidate, like was like a very high profile Republican and they ignored it. And we can talk about why they acknowledge this and not that. And it's obviously there's some racial components to that clearly, <laughs> um, with this individual, look, it's obviously, it's a tragedy. Like I can't even imagine his kids are going to grow up now without a dad because of this, yep. because of this horrible, horrible pandemic that didn't need to be nearly as bad. And I, you know, out of curiosity, he went back and he had said about, you know, how great Trump's leadership bat was back in April and everything like that. And I know that people are sharing like video of him from earlier this month at parties without masks. He has at some points talked about how we need to socially distance and everything. So he doesn't seem like some of the Republicans in terms of basically saying the entire thing is a hoax and all of that. But a lot of a lot of Republicans believe that this thing that has now taken one of their Congress people from them is either entirely fake or is at least being exaggerated. And if it yeah. exists, it was made up by the Chinese. Like, so they've yeah. got this huge problem and they're literally losing their members to it. Where's the motivation? What would be the motivation for this hoax to continue? That 
this newly elected congressman who's about to start his political career in Congress now, is probably happy about it, would, I don't know, fake it, allow his family to fake it. Maybe he caught something else and we just need to continue. What, what is his motivations? Did he want to die? Did he not want to actually, did he run for office and go, you know, I'm going to run for office and I'm going to die right before I start serving. That'd be a great way to, to live my life. Yeah, no, these things happen because of the way you carry yourself and go through life. But they still can't even admit that because th think about what that may hurt. It hurts their standing and it hurts their political uh, their political hold on office. That's all it does. It's too political to tell the truth right now because that would make them look bad. Their colleagues' life, acknowledging it, would make them look bad. We're talking about this, this party that's focused on life, the pro-life party, the, the party that says uh, we want everyone to have a chance and opportunity to get the American dream. When one of your colleagues, your buddies, that would agree with all of your bad policies, by the way, not because he was great on policy. The guy who agrees with all your bad policies dies and you don't acknowledge what you've done to contribute to that because it wouldn't do you very good. Just that every Republican and every Republican official and politician out there, think about it that way. If you die, this is the way they're going to treat you. Thoughts and yeah. prayers and not mention what happened to you. Yeah, can't even imagine. Yeah, like we've been saying from the very beginning, like it will never get through to a single right winger. But I've been saying from the very beginning, like, like, yeah, I get it. I'm, you know, I'm, I'm on the left. So I'm a massive liar. I'm immoral, whatever. Um, but I care more about your life than the people who, like, you trust so much. Like, Tucker Carlson doesn't care if you live or die. I care more about right wingers than Tucker Carlson. He doesn't give a damn if they live or die. Republican House leadership and Trump, especially, they do not care. They produce this situation. They produce a situation that kills their politicians. And their base still trusts them more than us, who tried to produce a situation where he would still be alive. He would be heading into Congress right now. <sighs> you know why? Okay, that ended on a down note. Yeah, yeah. Well, they'll, they'll probably have a Republican still sit, uh, get this seat. So that's oh, well, honestly yeah, definitely. Definitely. the only thing they care about. Yeah, uh, tragedy. I feel terrible for his family.